so therefore you can convert degree to radian as well as radian to degree suppose if you want to convert degree to radian for say they give a mixed fraction you can convert it into a fraction and multiply pi by 180 trigonometry is a branch of mathematics which deals with the measurement of triangles problems related with triangles what is the and it covers an angle theta this is called as angle made by the line and angle made by the line can be measured in the line moved from p to q by making an angle theta theta is called as what angle made by the line and this o is what vertex welcome to the session dear students today we'll go ahead with the problems of trigonometry that is angles and trigonometric ratios whatever you studied in your high school same trigonometric function definitions and in today's class we'll focus on what angles see first what is trigonometry trigonometry is a branch of mathematics which deals with the measurement of triangles problems related with triangles what is the meaning of trigonometry the word trigonometry is derived from a greek word trigonometron tri means 3 gono means what angle Tri is what? 3. Gono is angle and metron means what? Measurement. Means basically we deal with study of what? Triangles. So it means measurement of triangles and applications of triangles also we can see. And now what is an angle? So when a line revolves from one point to other point, it makes an angle. For example, this is a line. So OP, OP is a line. Suppose it moves from P to Q. Suppose it moves from P to Q. The line moves from P to Q by making an angle theta and we call theta as what? P from P it moved to what Q? The line moved from P to Q by making an angle theta. Theta is called as what? Angle made by the line and this O is what? Vertex. O is vertex. See when a line revolves about a form point from one position P to another position Q, say from P it moved to what? From P it moved to Q and when it moved from P to Q it covers an angle that angle is called as theta and we represent it as angle P O Q. So or we can also simply say angle O where O is what? Vertex. Now we can measure angles in degrees and radians. So degrees and radians. In our syllabus we have two methods. One is degree, the other one is radians. And first basic is pi radians is 180 degrees. This is the basic. Pi radians is how much? 180 degrees. We have derivation also, we can derive it. Pi radian measurements is same as 180 degree measurements. Angle can be measured in degrees as well as we can measure them in radians. For that one relation is pi radian is 180 degrees. That's why. So we have two techniques. One is to convert degree to radian. The other one is to convert radian to degree. Suppose if I want to convert degree to radian. If I want to convert degree to what? Radian. How to convert degree to radians? In order to convert degrees to radians, suppose if you have x degrees, if you want to convert it into radians, should multiply pi by 180. If you multiply pi by 180, we will get answer in degrees. To convert degree to radians, multiply pi by 180. So to convert degree to radians, what you should do? Multiply pi by 180. Second thing is, to convert radian to degree, if they give radians, and if you want to convert it into degree, if you want to convert radian to degree, suppose x radians if they give, multiply 180 by pi. If you multiply 180 by pi, it will become what? Degree. So these techniques we use and we solve the problems. I told you angle can be measured using two different units. One we can use degrees and we can also use radians. And the basic is what? Pi is equal to 180 degrees pi radians is 180 degrees. So therefore, you can convert degree to radian as well as radian to degree. Suppose if you want to convert degree to radian, multiply pi by 180. If you want to convert radian to degree, multiply 180 by pi. See, it is very simple here. Pi radians is 180 degrees. What is one radian? 180 by pi degrees. That's it. That is how we can convert. Now coming to this. 
So one more questions of excess 13.1 will discuss. So they gave express the following in radians. They want you to convert this to radians. So first 25 degrees they gave, 105 degrees, 22 and half degrees. So what is the basic? They want you to convert degree, they gave degrees and they want you to convert it into what? Radians. If you want to convert degrees to radians, multiply what? Multiply. If you want to convert, so then multiply pi by 180. If you multiply pi by 180, the degree becomes radian. Simple. Now, first question, 25 degrees. 25 degrees, if you want to convert it into radians, multiply pi by 180. 20 pi, uh, 25 into pi by 180, that is 25 into pi divided by 180. If you simplify, both are divisible by 5. 5, 5 is a 5, 3 is a 15, 30, 5, 6 is a. So we can say 5 by 36 pi radians. 5 by 36 pi. Or if you want further, you can divide it and write it in decimal or leave it here. When it is not divisible, you can leave it. Next, 105 degrees. They give 105 degrees. It is in degrees. So I want to convert 105 degrees to radians. So if you want to convert, multiply what? Pi by 180. That is... 105 divided by 180 into pi. Now we'll divide it. So 5 2s are 10, 5 1s are 5 3s are 15, 5 6s are again both are divisible. 3 7s are 21, 3 12s are. So you'll get 7 pi by 12. 7 12, 7 by 12 pi or 7 pi by 12. So therefore we got 105 degree in radians. 105 degrees is same as 7 pi by 12 radians. So we converted degree to what? Radians. If you want to convert degree to radians, multiply what? Pi by 180. Then 22 and half degree. Now this is important question. So you can convert it into a, see they give a mixed fraction. You can convert it into a fraction and multiply pi by 180. Or you can also do the other way around. See here 22 degrees they give plus half degree. 22 and a half degree or okay directly we can do 22 and a half degree multiply it convert it 22 and a half 22 one and half they give 22 1 by 2 22 2 is a 44 plus 1 by 2 convert it into fraction 45 by 2 degrees now this is still in degrees 22 and a half degree means 45 by 2 degrees that is equal to 45 by 2 into pi by 180. Now you convert it. They gave mixed fraction. I am converting it into a fraction. So now divide this. 4, uh, sorry, 5 nines are 45. 5 36 are. Then 3 threes are 9. 3 twelves are. So you have 3 pi by, okay, again 3 ones are, 3 fours are. So pi by 8. Now after you multiply, we are left out with pi is there in numerator, denominator 2 and 4, 2 4 is 8. Or directly, sorry. Here, directly you can divide, is it not? What is that? 45 by 2 into pi by 180. Both are divisible by 9. 9 5s are 9 20s are 5 1s are 5 4s are. In one shot, you will get pi by 8. So, 22 and half degree they give. So, 22, 1 by 2 degree is same as pi by 8 radians. So, I hope all of you got this. Then, express the, one more question again. Express the following sexagesimal. Sexagesimal means they want you to convert it into radians. So they want to convert it into degrees. So, express the following in sexagesimal measurements means they want you to convert it into what degrees. So they gave radians, you need to convert it into what degrees. If you want to convert uh, radian to degree, multiply. What we need to do? We need to multiply 180 by pi. If you multiply 180 by pi, radian becomes degree. If you want to convert radian to degree, multiply 180 divided by pi. Going ahead, 7 pi by 3. The first question is 7 pi by 3. 7 pi by 3, this is in degree, radian, you need to convert it into degree. 
So, how to convert this? Multiply what? 180 divided by pi. When you multiply 180 by pi, so 7 by 3 pi into 180 by pi, pi pi cancels, 3 ones are 3 sixties. So, you got 7 pi by 3 they give into 180 by pi after you do. What is the answer left out? It will pi pi cancel 3 ones are 3 sixties. So, 60 into 7, 7 6 are 42, 0, 420 degrees. So, 420 degrees will get the answer. So, they want you to convert this. We are converting into sexagesimal. So, sexagesimal is also called as degree. So, they gave in radians in pi. You convert it into degree. To do that, multiply 180 by pi. Next question, 2 pi by 12. See, the other technique is 2 pi by 12. I will tell you. So, I told you to multiply 180 by pi. If you multiply 2 pi by 12 here, 2 by 12 also you can cancel. Pi pi cancels. 2 ones are 2 6 are 6 ones are 6 30 is. So, you will get just, uh, this is pi by 3, that is 30 degrees. Other simple technique I will tell you. Say 2 pi by 12 they gave, right? 2 ones are 2 6 are, that is same as pi by 6, right? So, in the place of put pi, what is pi? 180 degrees. Just in the place of substitute pi, put 180 degrees, that is also easy. 180 by 6, that is also 30 degrees. In all the problems, in the place of pi, if you put 180 degrees, you will get the answer. So, now 2 pi, 2 pi means what? 2 pi is equal to 2 times what is pi? 180 degree. So, 2 times 180 is what? 3, 360 degrees. Or 2 pi, if you want to convert, multiply 180 by pi is what I taught you. Cancel. So, 360, one and the same. Either you multiply 180 by pi or in the place of pi, put the value of pi. What is pi? Pi is equal to always 180 degrees. In the place of pi, if you put that is more than sufficient and faster. No. I taught you how to convert degree to radian and radian to degree. Degree is also called as hexadecimal representation. Now, coming to this, before, uh, before say now 2 pi, 2 pi is what? 362 into 180, that is 360 degrees. So, in today's class, just I started with what is an angle. Whenever a line moves from one point to other point, it covers an angle that we say theta. So, suppose this is a line O to P. So, O to P say it rotates and it reaches to Q. Line O P rotates and reaches what? Line L. So, earlier line L say we will assume like this. Say earlier line L was at P. O P. And now the same line L moved to other point say Q. From here it moved to Q. So, it covered an angle that is theta. Here O is what? O vertex. And theta is what? Angle. And what we do? We construct a circle and we measure the arc length and we will arrive at the result. And this particular angle, this particular angle you can measure in two different units. One is radians. The other one is degrees. Degrees are also called as sexagesimal representation. So now this is in brief about angles. And I taught you degree if you want to convert degree to what? Radian. If you want degree to what? Radian. Multiply x degrees if they give. Multiply pi by 180. Then you will get what? Radians. And radian if you want to multiply. Suppose if they have given radian. If you want to convert it into degree. A radian if you want to convert it into degree take x radian multiply 180 by pi and in the problem if pi is readily available in the place of pi put the value of pi what is pi pi is equal to 180 degrees pi radians is 180 degrees 2 pi means 2 times 180 360 degrees like that it goes on so pi by 2 means what 180 by 2 90 degrees so, first you should know the basic pi radians is 180 degrees. From that only we have done conversion. Today I taught you what is an angle. Whenever a line moves from one point to other point, the with respect to O, that O is called as vertex. 
and it covers an angle theta. This is called as angle made by the line and angle made by the line can be measured in two different units. One is degree, the other one is radians. And I told you how to convert degree to radian and radian to degree. Still you have many more problems of the same kind. All are same kind. Please sit and complete them. Thank you.